This is a poem I wrote because I'm of an age when a lot of my friends' husbands are retiring now. And I observe that for some of the couples, this is a tremendous and exciting success. <laughs> but for others, it, it takes a bit more getting used to, uh, particularly if he is a man of firm opinions. Uh, so it's partly about that, but it's mostly just about the person we all know who knows it all. And it doesn't matter what your little modest opinion might be, he is going to overwhelm it with his enormously important opinion. And I'd just like to make it perfectly clear, of course, that it's nothing to do with any member of my own family. <laughs> no. You believe me, don't you? Yes, that's all right then. Anyway, this is it. You know, this world is complicated and imperfect and oppressed, and it's not hard to feel timid, apprehensive, and depressed. It seems that all around us, tides of questions ebb and flow, and people want solutions, but they don't know where to go. Opinions abound, but who is wrong and who is right? No, people need a prophet, a diffuser of the light, someone they can turn to as the crises rage and swirl, someone with the remedy, the wisdom, the pearl. Well, they should have asked my husband. <laughs> no, he'd have told him. Then and there, his thoughts on immigration, teenage mothers, Tony Blair, <laughs> the future of the monarchy, house prices in the south, the wait for hip replacements, BSE and foot and mouth. <laughs> now they should have asked my husband, he can sort out any mess, he can rejuvenate the railways, he can cure the NHS. So any little niggle, anything you want to know, just run it past my husband, wind him up and let him go. <laughs> See? Congestion on the motorways, free holidays for thugs, the damage to the ozone layer, refugees, drugs. These may defeat the brain of any politician bloke, but present it to my husband. He will solve it at a stroke. He'll clarify the situation. He will make it crystal clear you'll feel the glazing of your eyeballs <laughs> and the bending of your ear. <laughs> Corruption at the top is an authority on that and the Mafia, Gaddafi and Yasser Arafat. <laughs> Upon these areas he brings his intellect to shine in a great compelling voice that's twice as loud as yours or mine. <laughs> I often wonder what it must be like to be so strong, infallible, articulate, self-confident, and wrong. <laughs> so, when, when it comes to tolerance, he hasn't got a lot. Joyriders should be guillotined, and muggers should be shot. <laughs> The sound of his own voice becomes like music to his ears, and he hasn't got an inkling that he's boring us to tears. <laughs> oh, it's relentless. It's unstoppable. The hunting ban was grim. I fantasise at night about the hounds pursuing him. <laughs> One thing and one thing only caused a smile his face to crack. At last, we beat Australia. <laughs> and we got the ashes back. Hooray! <laughs> My friends don't call so often. They have busy lives, I know, but it's not every day you want to hear a windbag suck and blow. <laughs> Encyclopedias, on them we never have to call. Why clutter up the bookshelf? 
when my husband knows it all. <laughs>